Well, good morning. It's good to see you here as we come together on this Lord's Day for this time of worship. And I can't think of a better way to continue in our worship than through the ordinance of baptism. And baptism is all about identification. Uh, when a person's baptized, they're identifying with Christ because they represent the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, but also identifying with his church. And last Sunday, Jeff and Carolyn Johnston came and became a part of our church family, and both of them come, a husband and wife, on profession of faith and baptism. They both have trusted Christ and, and are coming this morning to let you know they've done that, but also to become a part of our church family and to be obedient in baptism. And I know you'll pray for them and, and encourage them. So, Carolyn, if you want to come on in. This way. All right. Jeff, if you want to step on down in the water, you're welcome to do that because it's always special to me when, when a family comes together, a husband and wife. And Carolyn, you've trusted Christ as your Savior? I do. And in obedience to the commands of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and on your profession of faith in Him as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in baptism and raised to walk in newness of life. God bless you. You're great. Here, I'll take it. I'll keep it. I'll get it up there. Turn around and face Tim. There you go. And this is Jeff, and you've trusted Christ as your Savior? Mm -hmm. And Jeff, in obedience to the commands of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And on your profession of faith in him as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And all the people said, Amen. God. 